Here, drink that. Take the edge off your nerves. I just didn't know what to say. I don't think you do need to say anything. I think it's the police. It's the look in his eye when he's talking to you. He totally believes the things he's saying. He has made up this entire story in his head. Oh, the DMs were bad, but I never thought it would go to this level. You should have told me about those messages. Why? So you can ban me from social media? It's got to be easier. You block his account over and over and over again. You know how hard I've worked to build up my socials. And it's because of that we're getting the wedding we want. I'm sorry that you had to be there on your own. <laughs> it's hardly the point. I shouldn't need escorting places to feel safe. It'll be all right. What if this gets worse? <clears throat> These came for you while you're out. No card, but it's a funeral arrangement. I almost told him to take him back. It's got to be a mistake. This is Justin. If he's besotted with you, why would he buy you a funeral arrangement? No, you don't get it. It's a... It's a message. If he can't have me, then no one can. I... I think he'd rather see me dead than marry you. Just calm down. I'll give Craig a ring and see if he can come over. What kind of sicko sends funeral flowers? It's a, it's a death threat. Well, tell the police everything that's happened. They can handle it. I just don't need this right now, Daniel. I am so stressed with this wedding and my mother and Jenny at each other's throats constantly. We'll get it all sorted. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> oh, take it you didn't like the flowers then. Not really what you had in mind when you were tapping me for free wedding arrangements. You sent them? Yeah. If you don't want to pay anything, that's what you're going to get. Well done, Tracy. Oh, come off it, Daniel. It's not like anybody actually died. Wait, somebody died. <laughs>